So what I'm going to do today is generate a room dividing bookcase using AMOS technology. And then I'm going to create the CNC output for a BSE flat table nesting machine. So the first thing to do is go to article designer and choose top view. Here I can specify that I use parts for a bookcase and assign parts to the four sides of my bookcase. And then I want to create a fixed shelf. And this is halfway up the fixed shelf. In the top view, I then want to add in an adjustable shelf. And I'm just going to copy this now and paste it into the bottom section. I can have a look at my design. This looks okay, but I want a plinth and I think I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller as well. So the first thing to do is change my overall height and I'm gonna call this 1250 high with a width of 600 millimeters and then a depth of 300 millimeters. I'm also going to ask that IMOS creates a plinth. And here I have a 50 millimeter plinth. Well, I want to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to save over the original data and increase the height to 100 millimeters. This looks a bit better. Let's just check one more time. Yes. I'll then save this as book case zero one. And then what I'll do is create one that's half the width and call this case 02. So what I can do now is come into my library and choose bookcase 01 and I'll just drop this down here. And then I want bookcase 02 to go to one side and then to the other side as well. So now I have my three bookcases. What I want to do is change the material. And I also want to change the fittings. So if I increase my level of information here all the way to level six and change this to be a wireframe, you can see I have here some classic graphics style hardware. If I create an exploded view here very simply, you'll see that I have a metal pin, a plastic fitting and the corresponding drilling. And what I want to do is use a new type of fitting called a peanut. The peanut's been developed by a company called Intelligent Fittings. And if I select my cabinets here, I can come into my options and the connectors and choose peanut. At this point, I'll also change my material. So here I want a nice walnut material. And this will refresh my construction and update the material and also my fittings. This looks better. So what I can do now is select my three bookcases and perform a connection scan. I'm happy with this type of shelf peg for my adjustable shelf pegs here, but I want to make sure that I'm using 
a dark brown fitting from Intelligent Fixings. So now when I orbit around and zoom in, you can see here this flush fitting. It's just one piece of hardware with a corresponding slot and drilling. So the next stage is to make this a little bit more unusual. So what I'll do is return to a 2D wireframe view and reduce my level of detail. And come into a top view. I can then use an AutoCAD polyline command to start a polyline with an arc and a radius of six meters. And I'll do one on the back side as well. Okay. So the next thing to do is to select the corresponding parts. So these are all of my vertical parts. You can see my base or plinth kickers are not selected. I'll then ask for all edge one, which highlighted here is the front edge. Now I'll ask this to extend to the polyline that I've drawn with the AutoCAD polyline tool. And then what I want to do is again, select all of the parts and this time choose all of the rear edges. And again, I will choose the rear polyline. Okay. Now I have an issue here because the edges of my vertical pieces are also following the line of the polyline and this is no good. So what I want to do is select just these upright sections. And then what I'll do is ask for edge number one. And I will modify the edge angle and make sure that this is set at zero degrees. Now we can see that we have a slight bow to the front and back of our room divider. Next stage is to create some technical drawings. So I'll go into an isometric view here and type flat shot. And I'll choose to create some hidden line details. And I'll quite make this small. The next thing I want to do is create some plan and side view elevations. I'll just increase the uh, level of detail here and go back to a 2D wire view and using the 2D plan view tool, window select over my model.
and I'll create a section view in here as well. Once I've done this, I can also add in some annotation. I'll load a border. And select a scale. At this point, I can also select my model, isolate it, position it into a 3D environment, perhaps go into a more perspective view. And I'll use the internal rendering engine here. to create a visualization. I think I prefer the light to come from a different direction. So I can customize this by rotating and then re rendering. This looks better. I'll save this. And generate some reports in a second. So I can also, in my drawing, fill my drawing title block with information relating specifically to the order, and then create a PDF. So I will save this onto my library. The next thing I'll do is use the EMOS tool document manager 
and I will create the CNC information and the costing information. So the first thing I must will do is bring up the automatic program generator using the new CAM IX engine and I can choose a workflow. Here I have a Rover flat table nesting machine, a simple edge bander and then a BSE Eco drilling station for any secondary drillings. If I click start you'll see down here that my progress bar shows me when my CNC files will be generated and I'll get a report showing me when this is complete as well. Then document manager will start. Document manager here is being used to generate images of each of the bookcases. It's also being used to generate technical drawings for each of these particular parts. Document Manager is also creating individual drawings for each cabinet, including an exploded view. Here you can see the FX fittings. Document Manager is now complete. And this allows me to now go over to EMOS Organizer. Here is the order that I've created, which contains three bookcases. And I have a cost. I can also, if I want to, alter my overall costing. and then calculate to increase my sale price. I can now generate reports. Here, for example, I have a label that can be assigned to each individual bookcase with all of the relevant information. Here is a corresponding loading list with weights. I also have a checklist with every single part and its etching sequence. A quotation with my rendered image and each of my items. A part list report showing me everything I need to make each cabinet, including images of how they should be edged and the grain direction, as well as a list of the fittings that are required to assemble. Finally, a label for my machines can also be produced for every single part. And a useful report, the quantity survey, showing me my materials and how much is being used. Back in the CAD environment, I can also generate CNC information. So now that the programs have been generated by IMOS, we can switch over to our what program. In this case, it's the B-Suite software from Biesi. 
Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is import my program as a test. And this is a side panel here. I can see I already have some drills and some milling. And if I come into a 3D view here, I can simulate this machining. I'll just slow this down. And press play. So we have here the first drills and then milling process. So the next stage now that we're happy with our programs is to switch over to the nest functionality and import our cut list that was generated by EMOS. I can click confirm on this and in here I now have a list of all of the parts that was generated by EMOS with the associated material and sizes and then I can optimize this Now that the processing has been completed, I can see my results. And I'll open this back up again in the CAD environment. And again, I can now simulate the machining process if required. So in a very short space of time, we've created our bespoke design within IMOS. We've taken it from uh, 2D drawings and cut lists into CNC production files. And we've managed to take that into B-Suite to simulate the manufacturing process. So from start to finish, we've managed to create a totally bespoke piece of furniture in a very short period of time.